Hello and welcome to this tutorial of city car driving and how to set up your steering wheel and or shifter if you have one. City car driving has made it very simple recently in a update as whereas before um, to assign a steering wheel in the game took a lot of what I would call manual labor whereas now they've made it a lot easier as I'm about to show you but before I do that I do want to say that in my opinion it is almost critical that you use a steering wheel with this game this is a simulator and this is a driving simulator you can always use a keyboard and mouse but you will have a hard time not too much of a hard time it is possible but you will struggle especially if you're driving a manual because you're going to have to be pressing two three buttons at the same time um which is a bit of a task especially if you want to do career mode which involves a lot of manual driving as well as automatic <clears throat> so let's begin then first things first from the main screen here go into settings of course go straight to controls on the right and here you'll find the basic settings area and this is what I was talking of before this whole control section has been uh, redone um, this basic settings area was not here before you just had this window where you know all of these assigned buttons had to be done manually so because it was initially or by default shall I say it was done for a keyboard and mouse setup so they have made life a lot easier by doing it this way so now let's begin by default I have already set up this profile so as you can see my control unit has steering wheel selected already but you should have keyboard if I'm not mistaken the first time so what you got to do control unit steering wheel set of settings which doesn't make much sense now I'm thinking about it it should say will or select your will but set of settings interesting anyway so here you have a small I will say small list now I do have a Logitech G29 plugged in I don't know if because of this, the will that I have it is showing me these options or if these are the only options that you can have to set up on this game because I'm surprised quite a bit actually that there is no Thrustmaster wheel especially there are many many other wheels but Thrustmaster is arguably the most popular wheel out there and so it does surprise me quite a bit that it's not here so I do hope for the sake of everyone um, owning this game or if that everyone's looking to buy this game for their sake that I only have these because I have a Logitech will anyway you select your will from here and so I have a Logitech G29 and I also have a shifter so I click on that and these are the defaults so the gas brake and clutch pedals are all set up the steering wheel is set up everything is pretty much set up for you and you can change you know as you wish so if you were not happy for example the high beams were initially K this is what it was initially however I much prefer the high beam buttons to be on the steering wheel for easy access so to change all you have to do you double click and you press the button that you wish to change for in this case the PlayStation button on the wheel and that works for anything if I 
let's see if I wanted to change the adjustment of mirrors button if I wanted it to be N instead of F then I just double click and I change it and again to change it back double click and F um, one thing to note and I've lost my mouse very very interesting I've lost my mouse for some reason so let me sort that out and I'll be back all right welcome back sorry about that some reason my mouse decided to disappear although I could still click what I needed to click so before that incident I think I'd covered what needed to be covered um, in this area so now I'm going to move on to the advanced settings tab now this is where you can fine-tune the dead zone and linearity of each pedal starting off with the gas pedal the brake and then the clutch pedal now and also obviously obviously sorry the right and left steering so by default this is what you should have so if i press on the gas pedal that's correct the brake yep yeah, and the clutch done so as you can see they are all correctly assigned by default if not then you have the option to edit what needs to be edited so default again this is what it should look like this is the standard default if you want to have have an automatic clutch sorry you know if you struggle with manual cars select this and you will be able to shift up and down as you please and not store um, due to this being selected now retain the gear while the button is pressed this one specifically is an important one if you're using a shifter and it took me a while to grasp that and before I did I had some trouble the problem was when so I just hit my microphone there when this is unticked as so if I was to put the shifter into gear one and move off and then come to a stop if I was to then put the shifter back into neutral the gearbox in the game would still be in first because the gear wasn't retained what this means and I've done it again what this means is imagine it being a if the first gear let me use first gear as an example if first gear was assigned to the letter Z just this is just an example if first gear was assigned to letter Z when I press the letter Z and hold it the gearbox would be held in first gear because I'm holding the Z button which I have assigned for first gear if I was to then release the Z button the gearbox in the game would automatically switch back to neutral so it would only be in first gear for the duration of the time that I'm holding the Z key that is what retaining the gear is retaining the gear is literally just retaining so holding in place the gear so if my shift is in first gear as long as it is there i am in first gear as long as i put the shifter back into neutral or move it up to second i will no longer be in second gear but i didn't know this so i had to assign the neutral function to a button on my steering wheel so as you can imagine not very realistic i've bought this game you know because of the realism and so it was a bit of a bummer when playing thankfully i had a bit of a it just got to a point where i just thought okay surely something's wrong here because i used to play this before when it was automatically i'm assuming um ticked because i, I don't recall doing it myself um with the shifter 
and I had no worries and so I knew something was off and so I just did a bit of online research and realized that this function was unticked so please 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 if you're using a shifter make sure you have that ticked and then you have automatic turn light switch off which I think is they haven't worded it as well as they could have but it's quite self-explanatory so of course take that and then we move down to view as you can imagine this is just camera so if you want to you know if you're turning right and you want the camera to move to the right automatically take that and each of these thankfully are quite self-explanatory so you can edit them as you wish and lastly on this menu we have for feedback so force feedback you can turn it on and off by taking this box it shows you what device you want feedback from and the scale of feedback again very self-explanatory now some problem or one of the problems that I've come across um, a lot of the time is when in game the stiffness of the steering wheel so you can have the you know and I've, I've experienced this myself you can have this all the way down here and somehow you get into the game and the wheel is ridiculously stiff you know which is not realistic at all so a fix for that which you can do and this is just a little bonus this is not in the game I will alt tab now or alt tab sorry head to whoops let's head to the let me just do it this way you head down here right click and open so this is the Logitech gaming software click on the steering wheel and come up to the top section of the steering wheel and you will find a little drop down arrow here click it axis properties you click on that and here there is an option called centering spring strength this is the strength of the steering wheel returning to the central position um, again it explains itself so I've got mine set to 50% um, it's still a bit stiff in the game so you might want to you know according to what you want you might want to make that higher or lower than 50% but 50% is what I've got it at and I think well let me not say what I think would be good because you know everyone varies everyone's um, you know everyone has their own perfect spot so I would just say change it see how it is in the game and from the number and from the experience you can either make it a lower percentage or a higher percentage it's completely up to you but this is the sort of key if you want to call it that so the gaming software itself and again you go you select your steering wheel up to the top section drop down arrow axis properties and centering spring strength and you can also if you don't want force feedback at all in the game untick that enable centering spring in force feedback games city car driving is a force feedback game and so goes under this here so if you don't want force feedback at all um, in city car driving make sure this is unticked and okay and we can go back into the game let's untick this apply that and that is all I hope this tutorial has been helpful I hope I've covered what I needed to cover and I hope I've helped you if you were looking for something specific specific under what I've covered um, that should be it if there's anything else you may need help for to do with this game or using a steering wheel or a shifter in this game feel free to comment below 
asking me and if I know how to help you I'll be more than happy to do to do that as quickly as possible if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up if not thumb it down subscribe if you want to see more and peace